Hello, I'm Gertrude. I'm Miss Whitehead's friend. I'm going to show you how to create and solve equations. So I can see here that I've got a triangle. And I know a triangle has got three angles. Now I can see I've got a Y here and I've got a Y here and 20 and I've got a 100 here. So what I think you do is you say Y, this Y here and this Y here gives you two Y's and then plus 20 and then plus 100. So we get 2Y plus 120 if we simplify. Now I also know, I know that triangles in a, in, angles in a, a tri ooh, I know 180 degrees. So I put equals 180 degrees and now I'm just, I'm just going to solve it. I know what to do. Oh my God, Gertrude, this is completely wrong. It's a good job I'm here to help you out. So you've made a classic mistake here in the fact that you have looked at this angle here, 2y, and you've added it to this angle here, which is 3y, but you haven't added them correctly. So what you need to do is write down each angle individually. So it's 2y plus 3y plus 20 plus 100. Now, Gertrude, next step, we need to simplify. Now we can see we need to group the like terms. So I've got 2y here, and I've got 3y here, and we've got plus 20 here, and we've got plus 100 here. So if we group the like terms, we end up with 5y altogether. And we have 120 degrees. Now, you were correct about a triangle having 180 degrees. And what you've actually done there, Gertrude, which is very clever, was to make it into an equation. So we now have 5y plus 120 degrees equals 180 degrees. And I know it must, must, must equal 180 degrees because that's one of my triangle facts. So my triangle fact is that the angles in a triangle add up to 180 degrees. Now all I have to do is solve it. So I'm going to take 120 away from both sides. And that leaves me with 5y equals 60 degrees. Now, 5 times y is equal to 60. So I now know that I need to do an inverse operation. Just as I did when I took away 120. But this time, I'm doing a division. So I'm going to divide both sides by 5. These 5s cancel. I'm going to end up with y is equal to 60 divided by 5, which is going to be 12 degrees. Is that OK, Gertrude? Yeah, I think so. Thanks, Miss Whitehead. OK, Miss Whitehead, I think I can do this one on my own. What I think you do is, we say m plus 1 plus 2m plus m plus 1 plus 2m plus m plus 1, which gives you 2n plus n plus 1, that one and that one, plus n plus 1, which is that one, plus 2n, which is that one, plus n plus 1, which is that one. And now I'm going to group the terms like you tell me to. So got 2n and n, got an n here, a 2n here, and I've got an n here, and so all together I've got 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 n's, and I've got plus 1, plus 1, plus 1, so that gives me 3, so I can plus 3. And that gives me an expression for um, the shape, definitely. 
No, Gertrude, you've missed something out. What about this three N here? Oh no, I forgot it. Okay, I'm gonna run through the question for you again um, without making that silly mistake. So you're right to do the two N plus the N plus one, plus the N plus one, plus the two N, plus the N plus one. So we already know that's seven N plus three. However, we forgot this last term here. So I need to add on another 3n. So your expression for the perimeter of this shape is actually 10n plus 3. Do you know how I got that? No, I don't. Please remind me. Okay, so you've got 7n here and you've got plus 3n here. So that gives you your 10n. And then you've got plus 3 here, which gives you this plus 3 here, which gives you your final expression of 10n plus 3. Okay? Thanks, Miss Whitehead. Okay, Miss Whitehead, I think I can do this one on my own. Miss mm. Whitehead, what do you do? Okay, get Dre. It's okay. I'm here again. The thing you need to remember with this one, the most very, very important, if you're looking for an expression for the perimeter of this uh, rectangle, you need to remember that perimeter is the whole way round. So we've already got the, the length there. We've got the length there. However, this is also got to be 2G. And this has also got to be 4G. Okay? So when you work out the perimeter of the shape, what are you going to have to do? Um, do we add them all up? So 2G plus 4G plus 2G plus 4G. Quite possibly get you, but what does that simplify down to? Um, I think, I think it's 2G plus 4G, 6G. Plus 2G gives me 8G, plus 4G gives me 12G. That is very, very good, Gertrude. What I'm going to teach you now is what happens if you get told that the perimeter of the shape is equal to 60 centimetres. How can you change the expression, which you've got here, of 12G? into an equation. I don't know. Okay, that's fine. So I'm going to tell you. Well, you just put your expression, the perimeter you know is 12G. I've just told you that the perimeter is 60 centimetres. So you literally just put those two things equal to each other. The expression must be equal to the length that you get told in the question. Ah. So, the way we're going to solve for this is we've got 12G. We need, know we need to do an inverse operation. We divide through both sides by 12. The two 12s cancel. And we're going to get G is equal to 5 centimetres. Thanks, Miss Whitehead.